Okay, and welcome back. Speasters and non-speasters, we're looking to get the noble sorcerer's ashes. Now we're gonna go through the Stormfoot Catacombs, which is in Limgrave. This area is pretty crazy because these guys, they are gargoyles, obviously, but they blend very well into the scenery. So uh, if you're not actually careful, they can literally sneak up on you. And so we need to open up that door. So we have to proceed into the catacombs. So knives are great because um, if you lock on, you can see them. Yes, I just waste this. And it's one right there on the left. I don't really need more than one. Uh, that's why I messed up on the first one. And these shadows really throw you off from time to time. Beautiful route. This is a little crazy because you see, right? But the crazier thing is, all right, we're going to just draw it out and then bam, one right there on the wall, just chilling, waiting to stab you in the back. All right, so, um, one of the best ways to get through this is if you unequip the shield, you'll be able to run faster um, if you're a heavy loader like me, but you might have to unequip more. Uh, and you have to be aware of there's two frames. Got your ladder upstairs. And then here, you'll see one on the wall. And again, this is why these knobs are so important. I think I overstock on them as much as possible. Let's grab this other guy. Oh. Die. Trying to find the other one. There's a, I think there's like two more. Um, going to that corner, just running there will actually just get you jumped. And even if you have the ability to survive some of the damage and they do blood loss, um, you could die. And this is why there's so many blood stains on the floor. There he is. Come on, die. And there is one more. Huh. No. I think that's a fifth one. And yes. gonna oops oh, really? that was that was that was a waste but that's a good thing to use yeah try jump attack some of these messages on the floor don't make sense Off we go. 
anger. All right, I'm gonna go up. And then it's one right there, and then it's one slightly to the left. Huh? Yep. Missed. They literally try to creep on you, though. I don't know why they think that works. Actually, it does. I'm lying. I, I got caught a couple of times. So, yep. One straight forward. Eyesight like a cat. Nothing to throw. I just want to say he jumped through the wall. All right, so I'm just trying to get him out of view from the other dude. All right. And I guess he's just upset at himself. We'll come get this Albert. So it's, this looks like one of those areas that contain a lot more than it shows. I'm not trying to gesture. I'm, I'm not going to rate you. Sorry. Look at my roll. My roll is like tumbling over. And, um, I remember this from looking up top again message makes no sense but i do believe i think it's there you go again those shadows see my know are those active like they just passed or is it like like, I don't know, someone who just beat this level was in the level like, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour ago, or is it something different? This should open that door. Somewhere, a heavy door has opened. All right, now, we're at Mr. Watchdog. The interesting thing about this is that I've seen someone play this in the beginning before I got the game. And um, it was a streamer. I can't remember called the streamer's name, but uh, he walked in front of him and he like swiped him and killed him. Similar to what he's doing to my dead mob. And they rage quit. Maybe it's because I have this halibur that and the amount of damage I'm taking. Um, the person literally just kept dying to him over and over again. I mean, obviously it's a spooky cat, but yeah, I. And now we got the noble sorcerer's ashes. It's pretty simple and easy. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Dead naked people right there. Stop it. All right, can't cut them off. Let's take us back to the top. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, if anyone enjoys this, again, like I always say, doesn't help, but subscribing, liking, I definitely would appreciate it. This is Baraku Flies, peacing out.